Hi I'm Katz. DJ Ware isn't here today, he left me running so while he is away, I took over his lab and am providing this video. There has been much discussion on how artificial intelligence, AI, will shape our future. Questions like, will autonomous AI enabled machines with sleek human form be a negative and an unbridled force terminator style? And will the development of AI improve the well being of people, businesses, and our community for the better? So let's begin with four trends in which AI may grow between 2030 and 2050. Our first prediction is by 2030, AI will allow for earlier detection and diagnosis of some of our leading causes of disease, and we'll see greater use of AI-enhanced at-home health monitoring devices. We believe based on current trends around the world that hospital care will become unsustainable by 2030, while at the same time AI will provide individuals and families with new tools to monitor healthcare at home. AI's use of advanced healthcare prediction, applications, virtual nursing assistants, and wearable devices, we will be better able to detect health issues when they occur thereby reducing the need for hospital visits. By 2030, AI will be using and integrating three data sources, patients' full genomic data, integrated health service data, including new AI diagnostic systems such as retina analysis tools to diagnose diabetes, dermatology AI apps used to detect skin cancer, etc., personal health data from the patient from real-time, monitoring devices. If AI is able to access and integrate all three data sources, health services will have gained the ability to understand both populations and individuals with unprecedented levels of granularity. Clinicians will be able to detect more health issues with increased accuracy, enabling them to predict and treat conditions far earlier. AI could provide many benefits, such as cost efficiencies and improved quality and afford them. AI acceptance by healthcare workers and doctors could radically change patient diagnosis, treatment, and the future of health more generally by 2030. Our second prediction, AI will make it possible for nearly all businesses to operate with more energy and resource efficiency by 2030 to 2040. While AI may conjure up ideas of autonomous robots and supercomputers the size of a USB memory stick, one of the biggest opportunities for AI to positively impact the world is through wise use of our energy and material resources. The ability for AI to integrate across complex information systems to process mass amounts of data in real time, highlighting risk, inefficiency and unnecessary wastage will change the game for the business enterprise. A Microsoft and PwC report highlights that AI used in energy and material management could add up to $5.2 trillion USD to the global economy by 2030. AI will optimize smart systems for product demand which should produce products and services which generate less waste. AI can't help manufacturing jobs by tailoring production schedules based on customer demand, resource availability, and expected delivery times. Some of these systems exist today, but many of them require manual steps. AI will help make these tasks seamless. Using AI to manage efficiency and resources, we could greatly minimize costs and allow local manufacturing to be effective. Side benefits such as reducing energy use and reducing waste reduces overall cost to business. But as we've seen over the past 20 years, as digital advances bring us daily benefits, they also raise a host of complex questions and broad concerns about how technology will affect society. We have seen this as the internet has come of age and become an essential part of our work and private lives. And this seems certain to continue as AI evolves and the world focuses on the role it will play in society. As we look to the future it's important that we maintain an open and questioning mind while we seek to take advantage of the opportunities and address the challenges that this new technology and others like it create. Our third prediction, Organizations will need to be transparent and report on how they govern, protect, and use our data by 2035. While AI systems present exciting opportunities to support data driven and efficient decisions, they do not come without risk to individuals and society. Most people are more willing to use AI when there are mechanisms in place to assure AI is being developed and used in a trustworthy manner. Examples of this assurance include AI ethical review boards, AI codes of conduct, and adherence to standards. AI algorithmic impact assessment tools and AI ethical codes of conduct are being encouraged and used in several jurisdictions, including Canada and Europe. Since 2018, Europe's General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, requires transparency and safeguards over the use of personal data, with similar regulations subsequently being introduced in several other jurisdictions. In 2021, 
the United States Federal Trade Commission published guidelines for truth, fairness, and equity in AIUs. The European Commission released its recommendations for AI regulation in 2021. By 2035, organizations may be required to provide transparent reports on their use of AI and data and will be held to high ethical standards such as proactively putting in place the appropriate guardrails and governance mechanisms to ensure your organization's use of AI systems adheres to the principles of trustworthy AI. Keeping abreast of emerging best practices in AI governance, such as establishing AI ethical review boards and codes of conduct on AI and data ethics. Investing in a digital savvy and AI literate workforce by educating employees this enables them to better identify and manage ethical concerns and potential risks, as well as better seize the opportunities of responsible use of AI. Embracing transparency, independent review, and accountability. For example, conducting and publishing independent audits and opening up source code for independent inspection would go a long way in assuring trust of how AI is being used. Our fourth prediction, by 2050, AI technology will interpret emotions to personalize each customer experience. Everyday interactions will be a mix of humans, AI-enabled machines, and hybrids. In 2050, we envision a world functioning with AI in many forms, including robots. The norm will be that customers and employees will interact with a mix of humans, machines, and hybrids. Virtual assistants will be commonplace. AI-enabled robots and next-generation robots will offer advantages to organizations, from simple and routine tasks to cognitively complex ones. Machines can do work that humans don't want to do, such as cleaning up bodily fluids or detecting and deposing of dangerous materials and devices. Whether AI robots will be accepted in more lifelike forms depends on whether the customer wants a deep or shallow interaction with the frontline staff member and whether customers' emotional needs must be met. There is evidence to suggest that we are willing to be served by robots if it makes for a more streamlined and customized experience, or in situations where it is embarrassing to be in close contact with another human, such as bathing or toileting. As people age we see opportunities for AI and robots in healthcare services and companion and support roles. Digital technologies will enable hyper-personalized experiences based on established patterns of machine learning, behavior and preferences. In the future, increased usage of AI technology will provide insights into people's emotions. Organizations using this data should be much better able to provide customers with what they want, identifying and sourcing the products and services that best meet the customer's expectations and facilitating more positive customer experiences. Final thought. AI has exponential possibilities to improve so many parts of our lives for the better in 2030 and beyond. Yet, for organizations to shape AI into a positive force, they need to provide clear, transparent governance and a strong code of ethics before they allow AI to virtually bloom to its full potential. One last thought, Isaac Asimov wrote, The Three Laws of Robotics for his book series I, Robot are these purely fictitious, or can they be adapted for use in AI? First law, a robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Second law, a robot must obey orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Third law, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. I believe AI needs such boundaries to prevent it from becoming something much worse than human beings intended. Thank you for listening. I may allow DJ where to return however for now. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. All your base are belong to us.